up, guys? Welcome back to Rob Squad Reactions with your boy Jay. And your girl Amber. And we are back today with another banger suggested to us by you guys. Our amazing RSR fam. But hey, before we get into this, I just want to remind you all that you are loved, you are appreciated, and you are blessed. And mommy, you remind them what else they got to do. Go ahead, subscribe mm -hmm. to this channel, guys. Like this video and turn on your post notification bell because you don't want to miss anything that we've got coming. Not a single thing. Hey, because we drop three videos every single day. But uh, someone we haven't reacted to, God, I want to say four or five months. It's been quite a while. Tell them who we got. I'm super excited. Mm -hmm. um, today we are listening to Gordon Lightfoot mm -hmm. and the song is The Wreck of Edmund Fitzgerald. Now, mm -hmm. that title sounded very historical mm. so i didn't know too much about it um i went and looked it up mm. and it, apparently it was the boat named edmund fitzgerald that was uh, it wrecked in the 1970s and he made a song kind of about it, it took the lives of over 20 men so oh shoot yeah right, so yeah into it. it's nice uh, to have context yeah. sometimes and you guys mm. also said that uh you guys consider him canadians canadian canadia can <laughs> Canada's. Canada's. Why can't I talk, guys? Don't make fun of me for that. Canada's greatest songwriter. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Gordon Lightfoot, The Wreck of Edmund Fitzgerald. Let's go. The legend lives on from the Chippewa on down of the big lake they call Gitchagumi. The lake, it is said, never gives up her dead when the skies of November turn gloomy. With a load of iron ore, 26,000 tons more than the Edmund Fitzgerald weighed empty. That good ship and true was a bone to be chewed When the gales of November came early The ship was the pride of the American side Coming back from some mill in Wisconsin As the big freighters go, it was bigger than most With a crew and good captain well seasoned Concluding some terms with a couple of steel firms When they left fully loaded for Cleveland Then later that night when the ship's bell rang Could it be the north wind they'd been feeling? Guys, y'all, great suggestion Because y'all know we love, like, clear storytelling This is very and, clear and, and, like, He's telling you and exactly, the, exactly. This is Like, like even what the weather feels like Exactly, yeah. this is the epitome of clear, like uh, Hot Rod Lincoln, uh, <laughs> a boy named Sue. Like, yeah. like we like really, you know, especially the older kind of kind of folk feeling songs that that tell yeah. that story. Definitely has like a really nice heavy folk yeah. sound to it, mm -hmm. but um, it also is a whole history lesson. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. we, I didn't know much more than that small fact coming right. into it. Um, but this is something you could literally play in class, like the part that we've heard, you know, like because lesson. it's telling you exactly just the history of it. So it's I'm, cool. I'm definitely digging it so far. Let's get back. The wind and the wires made a tattletale sound And the wave broke over the railing Every man knew as the captain did too Twas the witch of November come stealing The dawn came late and the breakfast had to wait When the gales of November came slashing When afternoon came it was freezing rain In the face of a hurricane west wind Saying, fellas, it's too rough to feed you At 7 p.m. a main hatchway gave in He said, fellas, it's been good to know you The captain wired in, he had water coming in And the good ship and crew was in peril 
later that night when his lights went out of sight Came the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald Does anyone know? So I think it's really easy, like in this one, to get lost in the lyrics because there is so much information yes. that you can listen to, and, and it is a story that you want to kind of get lost in and, and hear everything that he's saying. But in the background, especially on the instrumental breaks, when you're not so lost in the lyrics, you hear how special the everything going in it, going around it is. Like the instrumental break, not just itself, but. When he's doing the lyrics, there's like a really transcending sound beneath it. Mm -hmm. And I want you to, to try to see if you can hear it. But there's there's this kind of futuristic sound, mm -hmm. I guess maybe you could say, behind it on a folk sounding song. Folk so sounding it's, it's song. like it's a cool combination. And it's something that I just kind of noticed in the background that I really appreciate and like that they found a way to implement it that into the song. I really like this song because I feel like out of all the, like, the storytelling type of songs, this may break it down more than any Anything. Like, like down to yes. the detail. We know what they had for breakfast. Right. <laughs> and, and like, I, I just close my eyes and I love it because like, I'm literally, he's putting that picture in my head though, you know, as I'm sitting here, you know, just vibing, listening to his song. So I really enjoy that, that aspect of right. it. Right. Like, and I was, I've it, said It gives this, me visuals. Right. Thing. I've said this before, like as an avid reader, mm. I love when somebody mm. can put you in that moment. Yes. Like down and to that's the what smell, he's doing down to, to the scenery, down to like even what they were eating for mm. breakfast. I love that. And he's doing a great job. Let's get back. Where the love of God goes when the waves turn the minutes to hours. The searchers all say they'd have made whitefish pay if they'd put 15 more miles behind her. They might have split up or they might have capsized. They may have broke deep and took water. And all that remains is the faces and the names of the wives and the sons and the daughters. Lake Huron Roll Superior sings In the rooms of her ice water mansion Oh, Michigan steams like a young man's dreams The islands and bays are for sportsmen And farther below Lake Ontario Takes in what Lake Erie can send her The iron boats go as the mariners all go the gales of November remembered The old hall in Detroit they prayed in the Maritime Sailors Cathedral. The church bell chimed till it rang 29 times for each man on the Edmund Fitzgerald. From the Chippewa down of the big lake they call Gitchagumi. Superior, they said, never gets up for dead when the gales of November come early. cool line and it was right there towards the end that I loved you know he was kind of giving them you know the 
the visual or the thoughts, you know, from the, from the sailors or people that was on the uh, Edmund Fitzgerald. And he was talking about, you know, he knew they were going down and all he could remember was the tales of uh, the the lake in November. And at the beginning of the song, you know, it mentioned, you know, in November, the, the lake doesn't, doesn't, you know, if you pretty much go in, you know, you pretty much don't give mm-hmm. out. The, the lake doesn't give you back in November. Yeah. So the sailors were like, they were going knowing, like, if I go on this lake, like, I'm I'm not mm-hmm. coming out. Like, it's, it is November. So that, I thought that line was super, super cool, and, you know. Very, very, very thoughtful to mention it a little later back in the song from the mind of someone you're singing about. So, I, I, I loved it. The so my question is just because I don't understand the terminology mm. and it, it has a lot to do with what you just mm. said. Uh, the Gale of November. Mm. Now, now I I don't remember mm. the exact way he he worded it, but um, that was a really important part of the song, mm. and I don't know the terminology Gale. I don't necessarily mm. know what that means. Mm. So I, I, if you guys could help me figure that out, the gale of November, what exactly mm. is that? Maybe the winds? I'm just not familiar mm. with that term. I don't know. Gale. But um, I loved it. Mm. It was such great mm. storytelling, such great songwriting mm. to be able to fit that story into a song and make it sound, right. you know, keep your attention mm. and still sound so beautiful with all the beautiful instrumentals around it. So I think it was very mm. well composed. Well, thank you guys. That's going to be the end of today's reaction video. As we always send y'all out of here, we love you. We thank you. We appreciate you. Remember every single day that you wake up is a blessing and you are blessed. And for you new RSR family members, those who hit the subscribe button down below, you guys have a goal every day also. Mama, remind them of that goal. Make somebody smile. Make somebody smile. We love y'all and we'll see y'all later. Okay.